Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting to the next part of Visage. Or Visage. However you would like me to pronounce it. <laughs> Thanks to you guys in the comments, and watching a little bit of John Wolfe's video, uh, his first video, it kind of helped me a little bit. Um... So I'm hoping that we can get something done today. I think the main thing I need to work on is I need to figure out these controls, which I don't think I'm ever going to do because they are the shittiest, weirdest controls I've ever had in a game. I don't understand why. Um, but from what you guys said is that we need to find different pieces that, um, you know, keep the story going. So like how I found the wheelchair in the first video, it took me 40 minutes to find it, uh, but how I clicked on the wheelchair and it showed me some memories, now the wheelchair is gone and it respawns somewhere else in the house and I have to go find the wheelchair again. So that seems pretty straightforward, I guess. I wish the game just told me that, but uh, I guess I guess that's what I have you guys for. So <laughs> let's get started. All right, you guys, let me turn this light back on because it shut off in the last video. Uh, I tried to turn this, the, um, the, ooh, look, a little height chart. I tried to turn the, um, the settings up a little bit because you said it didn't look so good, but it still doesn't look great to me. And I'm pretty sure all of my settings are up high, very high, very high. I don't know, you guys. I mean, maybe it looks better now. I'm not sure. I've decided, since it's really hard for me to find candles, I was thinking... What is that noise? Um, I was thinking I should bring the candles with me. Like, light them, use them in a room that I need it, but then, like, carry it with me, you know, and, like, put it somewhere else and keep using it. Um, don't you think that's a, a good idea? I don't know. So, let's move forward. So... When we last played, we clicked on this wheelchair here. So now you guys have told me in the comments the wheelchair is somebody uh, somewhere else. So we are gonna go upstairs and try to find the uh, the second second wheelchair. I, s I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name. Oh my god, this plant scared me. <laughs> Rakin or whatever the hell his name is. Also, let me look at my items. Uh, I got a ton of fucking pills. One lighter. No candles. I don't know. Alright. Let's check this out. Can't remember if I even checked all of these. Liquor. Books. What the fuck? Was that doll wearing that this entire time? I don't remember it wearing like a full outfit with a noose around its neck, but maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> um, okay. Gotta find a wheelchair on a hunt for a- what the hell? Ew! This door is locked. The eye stuck to it seems to be alive. What the fuck? Oh my god. I don't like that. Um, is there a damn light in here? Stupid hamper. There's no lights in here. Okay, whatever. Ooh, it closed on me. There must be something in here that I'm missing. Where's this damn wheelchair, guys? Can you shut up? I hate being a cheater, but I had to look it up because I don't understand why you guys told me that there was another wheelchair. And it says... 
It says I need to walk over here and touch this painting. <laughs> so I was looking for a wheelchair. Um, not a painting. So I... Th anyway, let's just keep going. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Does that make this eye... Ooh, the eye's gone. Oh, look at me. Not that I didn't look that up or anything. There's the wheelchair. Guys, I would not have figured that out on my own. <laughs> there's a safe here. Just look and see if there's anything else around. I have this exact couch in my living room. Yeah, I, uh, the person who lived here before left their couch for me, so, <laughs> well, you know, take what you can work with. the information you requested concerning the patient that came in tonight. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle him, and that he used his firearm in an attempt to defend himself. What's weird is that there's nothing in the police report that indicates any break-in. There are some minor bruises on his body, but they all seem self-inflicted. The police also interrogated the neighbor who called the police. She claims to have seen him tossing books from his bookshelves frantically, seemingly searching for something. And what was he searching for? It's hard to tell. He refuses to answer most of our questions, claiming we already know the answers. He believes we're partly responsible for what happened. It's not really surprising. I took a look at his medical background, and he's had really bad cases of... Scopophobia. Scopophobia? Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I'll go and see him right away. Of course. He'll be in the transit wing, room 323, until further notice. He seems agitated. So be careful. Thanks, Tim. Duly noted. I love that I have no legs. It really immerses me in the story. Um... Okay, it just said saving, so we have finally progressed, guys. It only took a forever. Um, no items here. I don't have my lighter. So, okay. Our guy is in the hospital, or Raken. So I think we are reliving the memories of the people who once lived in the house and died in the house. Uh, that's just my guess. It's another wheelchair. So I wonder what is going on. They said he was throwing books frantically, so maybe we gotta check the bookshelves when we go back. I saw something. Is there a light switch? Oh, it's just something I could pick up. I can't fucking see. Okay, I'm gonna say I can't go that way. pretend like that didn't happen. Let's just go on with our lives and just erase that memory from our brains. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Call number Shit, one. that scared Code me. Code white in room 323. Code white in room 323. Code white? What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god, that chair. I can't get over what just happened. Uh...
Well, I mean, I don't know. Am I supposed to be looking for keys and shit? Like, do I open up things? Or is just this gonna be a quick memory? Can't get in there. Meeting room. Can't get in there. This place is empty. He runs so much faster in the memories. I like it. Wait, is this the room I was already in? Maybe not. Doesn't seem to be working. Get me out of this hospital. Guessing I gotta go to 323? Nurse's station. Sta oh, I gotta get maybe staircase? What's in here? Is a key? Three, 323 key. Call to security. Code white. Shit. Emergency in room 323. 311. Don't you dare! Ah. Oh my god. 324. Seize him! Give him the sedative! Now! Get off me! Open! Fuck. Probably break down the wall with the right tool? Who the hell am I? Okay. Where am I gonna find a tool? Okay. I did not realize the game actually had like other gameplay except for inside the house. I mean, it was inspired by PT, but this is definitely different, which is kind of refreshing, I suppose. Uh... What the heck is that? This isn't scary at all. Jammed. Alright, I need a tool, guys. I need a fucking tool. No tools in here. Definitely didn't see a sledgehammer or anything. Oh god, I'm scared. Ugh! a girl in the girls room that's gonna be so scary let me just look in here real quick okay nothing guys I'm scared Why is this music so scary? I mean, I am playing a horror game, like what else do I think? <laughs> Here we go. Uh. Hello? Are you okay? There's some tools. Nice. Can I have one of these tools? 
Ah! Oh my god, I don't know why that scared me so bad. Alright, run for it, run for it, run for it! Ah! I got out of there. Ah! Okay, I swear I'm seeing doors opening and closing. Or maybe I made that up. Okay, where where was I even before? Was it down here? Yeah. This way. 311. 323. Alright. Did we need that? I feel like we could have just pushed it down. This flimsy ass wall. You cannot store this item. Okay. All right. We are busting out of this joint. Another key. What that even- Meeting room, third floor. Did that say this was locked? Yeah. Okay, how do I get to the, uh- Ah! Oh my god, I don't know if someone's chasing me, I'm just making a run for it. Fuck! We made it! Oh, I made it! Go, 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 go! Go! Open! lock me in here also who was that oh my god fine by me I'd rather be locked in here than out there with you what the hell who was that guys I don't know about this game maybe a couple ah! see I told you I don't like it god I'm ready you should probably pick up the key and the flashlight on the table. Okay, that's a little rude, the way you worded that. You should probably pick up the key and the flashlight on the table. You know, I fucking will. Oh, and it's jammed. What are these? Handprints and footprints! Oh my god. Um. Yeah, a couple more episodes of this. I think we're golden. I don't think we need to keep playing this game much longer. <laughs> This is terrifying. What is this dripping? What key did I even pick up? I know, what, it, what is it called though? Tell me what it's called. What is that? Transit Wing 2. Okay. What do I do, guys? Because this is jammed, so it's not even the key to that room. And this says jammed. It doesn't open with a key. Why don't I know what to do? <gasps> what the hell? Oh! You just walk right into it. I'm an idiot. Also, how would I have known that? I've never experienced that in game before. <laughs> Um, open. Okay. We're going. Exit. It's jammed. And it's fucking dark. Am I 
I push this? No. It's like a one-time thing. Okay. Um, the key I have is for. Smash the fuck out of your face! Fuck. Uh, the uh, I can't talk. The key I have is for transit room something. I don't know where that is. I feel like I shouldn't go towards him, but... I feel like it's gotta be this way. Storage- Ah! Okay. I'll go this way then, right? It's jammed. Oh god. I did what? 323, 320. Dude, where is. Where do I go? Where do I go? Transit wing 2. said nothing indicates which key unlocks it, but like I had it the whole time. That's so stupid. That's what got me. Ah! I'm coming with you, bro. Let's go. Well, your sanity is decreasing fast. There you go. We're all better now. Uh, am I back in the house? What happened to my house? Oh, it's so dark. Do I want to be going down to the basement? I don't know. I'm just following this big ass twig. Uh, it just went dark for a second. Okay, I'm guessing I gotta find more pictures with eyeballs on them. Here we go. There's one. And... That is not another. Oh, my cat is crying next to me. Not that one either. What? Fuck, is he chasing me? My sanity is decreasing. Where's the next picture? Is that it? There it is. Click it. Alright, we gotta go back. Fuck me! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We're almost there! But my body won't move any faster! Go! 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 Guys, I don't like-
like this game. Like, this gives me anxiety. It makes me unhappy. I just... Like, this isn't fun. Why am I back? <sighs> Soiled it. Why? I hate this so much, guys. I'm so unhappy right now. I- I don't know how I'm back, it just doesn't make sense. Wait, did he- he didn't catch me, right? I'm not, like, starting over, right? <gasps> uh! <laughs> Do I have items? I don't even have a lighter now. Fuck. Am I supposed to follow him or no? I I don't know. I'm just, I don't know if I'm supposed to stay away from him or if he like progresses the story and I gotta keep going. Ugh. I just don't understand. Ugh. Oh no. Okay, don't ask me why I thought I needed to go in there. Your undoing is a now inevitable. Okay. Yeah, I, don't ask me why I thought I had to go in there. But for some reason I felt like maybe I was supposed to. You know, it was worth a shot. <laughs> oh wait, here's all these people again. Guys, there is a perfect clear path and I'm doing it. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. But I think I'm supposed to like sneak through. Yeah, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Nice booties. Ugh. Okay. What the hell? Oh my god, go! Go! Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh my god, this isn't it! I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, there they are. My problem is, I just don't know where the damn staircase is. I think it's just straight ahead. Go. 
All right, it saved. I did it. I did it. Oh, my game is lagging. <laughs> All right. I did it. I've been recording for 40 something minutes. Um I don't know how much longer this chapter is. Or if I should cut it here. Sorry, my game is lagging a little bit. It's this beautiful water graphics, that's why. That's what's making my game lag. Basement staircase. That's locked. Emergency ward. Just follow the light. Game keeps saving like a lot. Everything is jammed. coming in here when there's nothing in here. There's literally nothing in this room. Unless that's like a room to hide in. All these rooms. Patient number nine on request from Smith Walter. Patient name, Rakin Almutala. Gender, male, age 28. After Rakin's first evaluation, it is safe to say that he'll be staying here for a while. I was able to get him to talk about his paranoia. The patient believes that the whole scenario has been organized by some evil corporation in order to brainwash him into subjugation. He believes his mental capacity and awareness prevented them from getting to him. Adding to the severity of his case, he is sometimes afflicted with hallucinations. He has described these hallucinations to me as an eyeless humanoid that keeps on watching him wherever he is. Due to his psychotic behavior and his difficulty differentiating reality from paranoiac fabrication, he has been transferred to the psychiatric wing. He also displays violent behavior towards the staff, is considered to be dangerous, should be sedated, and under constant surveillance in the psychiatric ward. Awesome. Okay, so the guy chasing us is a lunatic. now. Basement staircase. Now where is that? I wish I had a map. Ah! Ah! That 
was scary. Oh, you guys. He's right there. Get me to the basement staircase! Shit, I'm stuck. Shit, I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm actually stuck. Damn it. Oh my god. I literally was stuck. Alright, we get it. It's gotta be this way. I'm stuck. Ah, there we go. Damn it. I didn't know we went outside. Okay. Now I'm outside. Oh my god, get me the hell out of this place. Guys, we are playing something nice and easy after this. We are playing something calming and beautiful. Oops. Open. I hate my life. I actually hate it. Open the door! There we go. There we go. Right here. Jesus. Why is it so dark? is making this fucking noise. The door won't open until the cycle is done. Override it. I don't know, but that sound is obnoxious. I don't know a way to override it. Unless there's something like in a different room that I have to press. I don't know. Jammed. They're all fucking jammed. There's nothing in here at all? Oh my god. There's a fucking key right here. To the control room. Oh my god. Bye. I don't even know where the control room is. Where the hell is it? 
Definitely not this way. Uh, is it here? No. Here? No. Here? Okay. I don't know, guys. I don't know how much longer this chapter is. Um, but I want to stop recording for today. Damn, I'm lost. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to end it for today. I've just been recording for an hour, and I feel like this is not the end of the chapter. I feel like there's much more to go. So please let me know down below how you guys are enjoying this game. It's definitely scary. I'm telling you, if it's not scary watching it, it's way worse when you're actually playing it. Um, it's... This is terrifying. <laughs> there's something about it that, like, really, like, makes my heart race. Like, I just... It freaks me the fuck out. Like, this is one of the scarier games that I've played in a while. Um, and you guys told me that this... Well, I read somewhere in the comments that this is the best chapter. Or not the best chapter. Like, the um, the easiest chapter. The um, less scary chapter. So if this is less scary, I can't imagine what the other chapters are like. So anyways, please let me know how you feel about this game. Do you want me to keep playing it? Would you be okay if I stopped? <laughs> I will obviously finish this chapter, and I will obviously finish the game if you want me to. I just don't know how much more my heart can take. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.